इसका मतलब ये होता है कि आइदर एक्चुअली यू वॉन्ट टू शिफ्ट द बेट्स टूवर्ड्स द राइट साइड और टूवर्ड्स द लेफ्ट और इसमें हमने फिर एक एग्जाम्पल ली थी फोर बेट्स की और उसमें मैंने आपको दोनों लेफ्ट और राइट शिफ्ट दोनों आपको दिखाए थे सो दीज आर फोर बेट्स एग्जाम्पल All right. So these four bits will be treated as one, two, four, eight, and one, two, four, eight. One, two, four, eight, and one, two, four, eight. Remember, the size of register is not at all restricted to any particular number of bits. It would be as per the need of that particular implementation or solution or machine or device, whatever that is actually making use of these registers. ठीक हो गया. So let's say. आपके पास जो है वो अगर हम लेफ्ट शिफ्ट करते हैं और आपके पास जो नंबर है वो है थ्री और तो होगा क्या है कि थ्री जो है इफ यू शिफ्ट इट लेफ्ट टूवर्ड्स द लेफ्ट सो व्हाट विल हैपन दैट दिस जीरो विल गेट आउट ऑफ द स्पेस एंड इट विल बी ड्रॉप्ड ऑफ दिस जीरो विल टेक प्लेस on the left side this one will get here and this one will get here and the space that is created computer never leaves any space in registers so whenever there is space computer fills it with zero okay so computer fills it with zero so what actually happens that i told you that the bit which fell out is dropped it is no more considered similarly let's say hamare paas yahan par 6 hai all right 6 and we move it right so this is right shift so this will go out this one will take place in first bit this one will take place in second bit this zero will take place in third bit and a new zero will enter the system and similarly as i said this particular bit will be dropped now when we shift left what actually happened that this 3 became 6 so when we shift the number towards the left what actually happens that the number becomes double of the previous number so it is multiplied by 2 and when we shift right so it was actually 6 it has become what 3 so when we shift right number is actually divided by 2 and it becomes half of the previous number theek ho gaya so this is what we were actually discussing yesterday now there is one um, exception to it when we drop a bit the size of the number is affected if we shift left and the bit that is being dropped is zero the new number that will be in the register after the shifting will be correct before we go any further let's talk about range range so what is the range of 4 bits 2 to the power 4 that is 16 means the smallest number that we can save is 0 and the largest number that we can save is 15 in 4 bits so this is the range so keeping that range in mind it means that when we shift left and the number becomes double 
if the number is within range after getting doubled it will be saved otherwise the number will become incorrect what does it mean it means that let, let's say in four bits we have got one two four and eight as a number and we shift it left all right and we shift it left if we shift it left this one will go out and it will be dropped off so the result would be zero 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 what we were supposing to have 16 all right so what we are left with zero why because this 16 cannot be accommodated in four bits the highest number that we can accommodate in four bits is actually 15 okay we discussed about it so we can accommodate 16 numbers but the largest number that we can accommodate is 15 and the smallest is 0 so 0 to 15 we have got 16 similarly if we have got 7 and we shift it left 7 is 1 2 4 this is 7 and we shift it left okay so if we shift it left the 0 will go out and this would become 1 1 1 and 0 in this case what we are expecting 14 and since this 14 is within the limit of 0 to 15 it will be accommodated so get the idea if we are shifting left and we are shifting 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 but if that shift is for the number which is inside the range then the result is correct otherwise it will be incorrect okay and how we would know that why the number is incorrect because we have an idea that the number that we are saving to four bits uski, uski value kya hai aur jab hum usko left shift karenge to double hone ke baad uski value kya ho jayegi agar wo double hone ke baad value jo hai wo within the range hai to well and good agar wo outside the range hai to wo phir number resultant number jo ga wo kharaab ho ga and remember one thing the, the bit that is dropped off the register is gone it is nowhere it cannot be capped it is gone अब ये हो गई लेफ्ट शिफ्टिंग की मैंने आपको एक एक्सेप्शन बता दी कि लेफ्ट शिफ्टिंग में जब आप लेफ्ट शिफ्ट कर रहे हैं नंबर डबल तो हो रहा है लेकिन उसके डबल होने के बाद अगर उसका उसकी वैल्यू जो है वो उस उस नंबर ऑफ बिट से ज्यादा रेंज के ऊपर चली जाएगी तो नंबर खराब हो जाएगा इसी तरीके से जब हम राइट शिफ्ट में जाते हैं तो वहां पर भी अगर जीरोस ड्रॉप हो रहे हैं तो नंबर हाफ हो रहा है लेकिन अगर वन ड्रॉप हो रहा है तो उसका एक डिफरेंट सीन है अच्छा अब देखिए let's say i have got seven in right shift one two four eight this is what seven and if we shift it right Yes. Take a Pella Pella question. I have a sir. Assalamu alaikum. Walikum assalam. Dusra question. I have a salam alaikum, sir. I did not understand the concept of dropped, which you wrote. Uh, I did explain it, but I told you that the bit that is dropped when we shift out. So, whatever gets out of the register is dropped, finished, chopped off, deleted. All right, so it will never be taken into consideration. If the right side is going to be dropped, then we will consideration it in consideration. It's like we are having a box or we are having a glass of water. So whatever the water that you can accommodate in that glass that is actually held, and what is going to be spilled, spill is going to be finished, we will not be able to use it at all. That is what the computer's memory do. आपके पास जब तक मेमोरी के अंदर डेटा है तो वो आप उसको इस्तेमाल कर सकते हैं अगर आप उसको राइट शिफ्ट या लेफ्ट शिफ्ट करेंगे तो जो मेमोरी से देखो फिजिकल मेमोरी जो है वो फिजिकल होती है फिजिकल इट इज होल्डिंग डेटा अगर आप डेटा को मूव करेंगे और वो उस फिजिकल रूम से बेड्स के रूम से बाहर निकल जाएगा तो फिर वो हमारे काबू में नहीं होता 
अच्छा एक और सवाल है कि सर व्हाट इफ वी ऑल हैव वन 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 वो तो बेटा मैंने उस पर आपसे बात कर ली ना अगर आपके पास वन 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 है तो इसका मतलब है वो फिफ्टीन है तो अगर आप उसको लेफ्ट शिफ्ट करेंगे तो वो फिफ्टीन से आपके पास थर्टीन ही हो जाएगा वो मेरली आपके पास रह जाएगा फोर्टीन यानी कि नंबर गलत हो जाएगा क्योंकि एक बिट लेफ्ट से ड्रॉप हो गया ठीक है तो वो डबल नहीं होगा डबल वो हो के उस सूरत में सिर्फ सही रहेगा जब करके वो विद इन द रेंज ऑफ द फोर बिट्स है अच्छा सर कैन बिट शिफ्टिंग टेक्स बेस इन रजिस्टर विद मोर देन फोर बिट्स यस यस बेटे आई एम जस्ट मेकिंग एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ फोर बिट्स यू वुड सी दैट वी विल बी गोइंग अप टू लाइक टेन बिट्स ट्वेल्व बिट्स एंड इट कैन हैपन विद एनी नंबर ऑफ बिट्स दैट रियली डज नॉट मैटर इट आई एम टेकिंग फोर बिट्स जस्ट फॉर एन एग्जाम्पल ओके जी so i answered all, all 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 of the questions so let's discuss with seven so ab hamare paas seven hai seven ko jab hum right shift karenge dekhiye seven is odd digit this is a this is an odd number theek hai jab ab maine aapko kya bataya tha ki jab hum left shift karte hain to number jo hota hai wo multiply by 2 hota hai aur jab hum right shift karte hain to wo half ho jata hai divided by 2 hota hai to जब हम राइट right शिफ्ट करेंगे तो हम क्या एक्सपेक्ट कर रहे हैं 3.5 लेकिन क्या आपने अभी तक जो हमने शुरू से कन्वर्जन देखी क्या मैंने किसी रियल नंबर को किसी डेसिमल नंबर को किसी पॉइंट वाले नंबर को ट्रीट किया नहीं किया तो ये जो हम फॉर्मेशन ऑफ बाइनरीज पढ़ते हैं ओ लेवल्स में दैट इज ओनली फॉर इंटीजर्स और होल नंबर सो वेन वी शिफ्ट राइट इफ द एक्सपेक्टेड आंसर इज इवन नंबर we can get the correct answer but if we are expecting an answer in real number to wo fir hum usko correctly gain nahi kar sakte ab odd number when it gets actually halved definitely kya hoga ki uske andar point aayega 3 will become 3.5 7 sorry 3 will become 1.5 7 will become 3.5 5 will 5 will become 2.5 so are you getting the idea 9 when it gets half it will become 4.5 so this 0.5 will never be saved this 0.5 will never be saved theek ho gaya so agar main isko right move karunga to i would have what in 4 bits this one will get dropped and i would have this answer so instead of 3.5 what i will get 3 if i'm shifting right all right if i'm shifting right and uh, the answer that i'm expecting is in points i cannot hold it because this is structure of binary numbers that we have been studying and at o levels we only study whole numbers we do not cater for decimal numbers or real numbers Get the idea? अच्छा अब अगर आपके पास एक ऑड नंबर हो सॉरी इवन नंबर हो लेट से एट वन टू फोर एंड एट सो दिस इज एट दिस इज इवन नंबर एंड इफ इट गेट्स शिफ्टेड वंस टू द राइट तो ये वाला जो जीरो होगा ये तो हो जाएगा ड्रॉप और आपके पास आंसर क्या आ जाएगा ये विच इज फोर सो इट इज करेक्ट so it was an even number even number when it gets half remains even to wo aapke paas answer jo hoga wo sahi ho jayega acha ab dekhe main isko conclude karta hu you have to understand the thing with one um solid point if we are shifting left or ek one drop ho raha hai if we are shifting left और एक वन ड्रॉप हो रहा है तो इसका मतलब ये है कि हमारे पास लेफ्ट शिफ्ट करने के बाद जो एक्सपेक्टेड आंसर है दैट इज बियॉन्ड द लिमिट ऑफ दैट नंबर ऑफ बिट्स अगर वन ड्रॉप हो रहा है अगर लेफ्ट से वन ड्रॉप होगा तो आपको पता है कि लेफ्ट साइड क्या होती है मोस्ट सिग्निफिकेंट बिट साइज साइड होती है अगर आप मोस्ट सिग्निफिकेंट बिट साइड पर एक वन ड्रॉप करेंगे तो इसका मतलब है कि नंबर के साइज में फर्क आ जाएगा नंबर सही नहीं रहेगा और अगर राइट right शिफ्ट में आप वन ड्रॉप करते हैं तो इसका मतलब यह हुआ कि आपने पॉइंट फाइव ड्रॉप कर दिया जब हम राइट right शिफ्ट करते हैं तो पॉइंट फाइव ड्रॉप होता है जब लेफ्ट शिफ्ट करते हैं तो एक बहुत बड़ा नंबर छोटा सा रह जाता है 
क्योंकि वो मोस्ट सिग्निफिकेंट साइड से ड्रॉप होता है और अगर आपके पास राइट right शिफ्ट में ऑड नंबर है तो आप एक्सपेक्ट करें कि उसका आंसर पॉइंट फाइव में आएगा तो वो पॉइंट फाइव में कभी नहीं आएगा वो हमेशा होल हो जाएगा उसका पॉइंट वाला पार्ट जो है वो ड्रॉप हो गया बाई शिफ्टिंग वन ऑन द राइट साइड एक्चुअली वी आर ड्रॉपिंग पॉइंट फाइव एंड बाय shifting on the left side if we are dropping one it means that we are compromising over the size of the number acha ab ek aakhri cheez dekh lete hain ab hum dekhte hain 8 bits ki 8 bits ki dropage so this is one byte all right so this is 1 2 4 8 16 32 64 64 and 128 this is one byte All right, so let's keep seventy uh, in it. So this is seventy, sixty-four uh, plus four, sixty-eight plus two, seventy. So this is seventy. All right, so this is seventy, sixty-four plus four, sixty-eight plus two, seventy. So. अब हम इसको जब राइट right शिफ्ट करेंगे तो बेसिकली हमारे पास ये वाला जो जीरो है ये ड्रॉप हो जाएगा मींस इट गेट्स आउट ऑफ द बाइट और रजिस्टर दिस वन विल बी शिफ्टेड टूवर्ड्स द राइट वन दिस वन विल बी शिफ्टेड टूवर्ड्स द राइट दिस जीरो विल बी शिफ्टेड टूवर्ड्स द राइट एंड टू द राइट एंड टू द राइट and to the right and and to the right and then we have got one zero entered to the system so ab agar hum isko dekhe to ye hamare paas 8 bits mein kya banta hai 1 1 0 0 0 1 oh this one is actually 0 0 and 0 और राइट सो अगर हम इसको सॉल्व करें तो ये वन टू फोर एट सिक्सटीन थर्टी टू सिक्सटी फोर एंड वन ट्वेंटी एट हुआ सो थर्टी टू प्लस टू थर्टी फोर प्लस वन थर्टी फाइव सो एक्सपेक्टेड आंसर क्या हो गया थर्टी फाइव सो राइट शिफ्ट हुआ राइट शिफ्ट होने के बाद हाफ हो गया और क्योंकि इवन नंबर था तो जीरो ड्रॉप होने से फर्क नहीं पड़ा लेकिन अगर अब आप थर्टी फाइव को राइट right शिफ्ट करेंगे तो बेसिकली आपको 17.5 नहीं बल्कि सिर्फ 17 मिलेगा आप खुद देख लीजिए ये वन इधर आ जाएगा ये वन ड्रॉप हो जाएगा ये वाला वन इधर आ जाएगा और आपके पास क्या रह जाएगा सारे जीरो सो सिक्सटीन प्लस वन सेवनटीन या आपने फर्दर राइट शिफ्ट करा अगर आप इसको फर्दर राइट शिफ्ट करेंगे तो आपके पास जो है वो सेवनटीन नहीं बचेगा सॉरी सेवनटीन का हाफ नहीं बचेगा बल्कि आपके पास पॉइंट फाइव ड्रॉप हो जाएगा ठीक है आपके पास क्या बचेगा सिर्फ और सिर्फ एट और एट पॉइंट फाइव नहीं होगा अगर हम इसी तरीके से एक बाइट को लेफ्ट शिफ्ट करते हैं तो लेट से हम सेवेंटी को लेफ्ट शिफ्ट करते हैं सो दिस इज सेवेंटी जीरो वन जीरो 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 वन वन जीरो सो दिस इज सेवेंटी अब हमने इसको लेफ्ट शिफ्ट किया जब हम इसको लेफ्ट शिफ्ट करेंगे तो ये वन यहाँ आ जाएगा जीरो 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 वन वन जीरो एंड जीरो सो दिस हैज बिकम वन फोर्टी हाउ कम इट हैज बिकम वन फोर्टी इफ वन ट्वेंटी एट प्लस एट वन थर्टी सिक्स प्लस फोर वन फोर्टी सो दिस इज वन फोर्टी नाउ you can actually answer it by yourself but if i further shifted left isko maine left shift kiya na we 140 ho gaya agar ab hum left shift karenge further to hum kya expect kar rahe hain 280 280 to range hi nahi hai to aapko pata hai ke 2 ki power 8 256 banta hai means sabse chhota number aap 0 aur sabse bada number 255 aap save kar sakte hain so ab agar main further left shift karunga तो आई कैन नॉट एक्सपेक्ट दैट इट वुड बिकम टू एटी राधर इट वुड मेयरली बिकम वन टू फोर एट सिक्सटीन ट्वेंटी फोर सी अगर हम इसको लेफ्ट शिफ्ट करते हैं तो दिस वन विल बी ड्रॉप्ड ऑफ सो दिस वुड बिकम जीरो 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 वन वन जीरो 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 
So this would become 1, 2, 4, 8, and 16. So what we were expecting, we were expecting 280, but what it has become, 24. 16 and 8. This has become 24. So this answer has become incorrect. Why? Because when we were shifting left, actually, our answer was ring se bahar chala gaya. So, jaldi se isko ek bar aur dekh lijiye. So, maine aapko kya bataya ki jab hum bit shifting karte hain aur jab hum left shift karte hain to jo bits drop hote hain agar wo zero honge to aapka aane wala answer sahi hoga jo ke double ho jayega of the previous value. When we shift right and if we are dropping zero then the answer will be correct but if we are dropping one it means that uh, we are actually dropping 0. 0.5 in that case we have to consider shifting odd and even numbers towards the right if the even number is being shifted to the right the answer will be correct if the odd number is being shifted to the right then 0. 0.5 will be dropped off when we shift left number gets doubled when we shift right number gets half exception 0. 0.5 is dropped off then we have to take care of the range the shifting should keep numbers in range and should keep numbers in teachers whole numbers okay so if we are shifting left as far as it is within the range we can hold on the number but if we are shifting left and we are expecting that the number would go beyond the range of that many bits in that case the number will become incorrect and there is no such restriction of four bits or eight bits it could be any number of bits so let's get back to our questions so as i discussed that this particular question question number 11 uh, it says that a denary number can be represented as an 8-bit number. For example, this is 27. How come it is 27? This is 16 plus 8, 24 plus 2, 26 plus 1, 27. And it has been shifted to the left. When it has been shifted to the left, the bit that is being dropped is 0. So it is not no more written. So what actually has happened that 30, uh, 27 has become 52. How come we know that it is 52? There's a question. Uh, sir, to hume pata kaise chalega ki hume left pe karna hai ya right pe? But a question me given hai. You don't worry about it. It will be given in the question. So if you if you see that particular question, jo abhi aapki screen par hai, to aap dekh rahe hain ki left shift ho raha hai. Jabhi to arrows towards the left point kar rahe hain. Ye aapko question se samajhna hoga. A denary number can be represented as an 8 bit. For example, this 27 is represented like this. All the bits, now you read this, all the bits in the binary number have now been shifted one place to the left. Get the idea? So it is written in the question. What any number does it now represent? Obviously, this is 32 plus 16, which is 48 plus 4, uh, 54 plus 2, 56. No, this is 32 plus 16, 48 plus 4. 48 plus 4, 52 plus 2, 54. Okay, so this has become what? It was 27. And it has become what? 54. So left shifting effect kya hai? What denary number does it represent now? 54. What effect did the shift on the original denary number? When we have shifted it one place to the light, to the left, the number has become doubled of the previous number. Number has become doubled. Number is multiplied by two. It has become doubled. If the binary number was shifted another place to the left, what denary number would you be actually expecting? So 54 multiplied by 2. So if you actually look at question number C, 11C, if the binary number was shifted another place to the left, it would become double, double of 54. Double of 54 will be 108. 
ओके सो यस वन जीरो एट परफेक्ट हो गया जजीला एंड सर तो हमें पता कैसे चलेगा ये तो हो गई ना हमारी बात सो वन जीरो एट हो जाएगा फिफ्टी फोर विल बिकम वन जीरो एट रिप्रेजेंट द डेनरी नंबर फोर्टी सिक्स फोर्टी सिक्स सो थर्टी टू प्लस एट फोर्टी प्लस फोर फोर्टी फोर प्लस टू फोर्टी सिक्स सो दिस इज फोर्टी सिक्स थर्टी टू प्लस एट फोर्टी प्लस फोर फोर्टी फोर प्लस टू फोर्टी सिक्स सो वी हैव मेड दिस नंबर फोर्टी सिक्स इन एट बिट रजिस्टर्स शिफ्ट दिस एट बिट बाइनरी नंबर टू प्लेसेस टू द लेफ्ट सो लेट्स शिफ्ट इट Shift it over here so that you have an idea of it. So zero zero one zero one 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 zero. We shift it towards the left. It would become zero one zero one 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 zero zero. So this forty six has become what ninety two. So this was forty six. This will become ninety two. Now this is one place to the left, and it has asked us what. Two places to the left, so ninety-two will become what one eighty-four. So this will be one zero one 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 zero zero zero. So this would be one eighty-four. All right. So get the idea. So this is one place to the left, and this is two places to the left. Okay. Shift eight bits binary number two places to the left. What is the binary equivalent? One What was it? One eighty-four. So, so the new number is now one eighty-four. ठीक है बेटे. What problem would arise if you try to shift this eight-bit binary number three places to the left? Now one eighty-four plus one eighty-four will become eight sixteen and three sixty-eight. so we cannot have 368 in 8 bit binary number what is the range 256 256 means 0 to 255 so this is the problem that we cannot hold 368 so what problem would arise if you try to shift 8 bits binary number three places to the left as the 8 bit has range Up to two fifty five, the left most or most significant bit will be dropped and answer will become. incorrect this is the problem that we have the answer would be incorrect why it would be incorrect because shifting left we expect that answer will become double and double value is 368 which is beyond the range of 8 bits acha if any 8 bit e if any 8 bit number was shifted one place to the right what would be this equivalent to if any 8 bit number half of it it will be half of the original number for example if 8 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 is shifted right one place then it will become four which is 1 2 4 8 16 32 64 128 get the idea so it will be four okay now let's move on a touch screen is divided up into a number of locations uh each x position shown in 
a six bit register. So these are X values, zero to 63, zero to 63, okay? And, and you can see that uh, this is six bit register. So the range will be 64 means zero to 63. So it is in the range. All of these numbers zero to 63 are in the range in X values and in Y values, it is five bits. So if it is five bits, it means that two to power five, it is 32. So we can say from zero to 31. Okay, thus this is value 30 comma 21. So X comma Y, so this is 30. How come it is 30? 16 plus eight, 24 plus four, 28 plus two, 30. And the right one is 16 plus four, 22, Oh, sorry, 16 plus 4, 20 plus 1, 21. So this is correct. All right. Give the screen position referred to if the two registers contain this. So this one is 32 plus 16, 48 plus 4, 48 plus 4, 52. So 48 plus 4 is 52. So this is 52. And on the right side, it is 8 plus 4, 8 plus 4 plus 2, 8 plus 4, 12 plus 2, 14. So this is your answer, 52 comma 14. Now, I'm going to leave this question. So you don't have to actually deal with this question because we have not studied it yet and you would have to actually yes this slow byte thing we have done it but this is irrelevant for this particular topic so i am going to leave this question there is nothing new in this question so a digital light meter has uh, three digits lcd the value of each digit on the instrument display is stored as four bits binary number so this is your seven this is your four this is your five so this would be uh two this would be nine and this would be one so this is actually two this is nine this is one and this is three eight zero so this is three this is eight and this is zero i hope that you are now well versed with these conversions and you would have seen important binary or if it is in binary form it is a number and if it is a number it means that we have to convert anything that is being fed to the computer in the form of number if any of the four binary registers four bit binary register XYZ contains one 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 this indicates an error yes this will indicate an error because one 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 is equal to 15 whereas one box over here is only representing one digit so one digit can be from 0 to 9 so we cannot represent 15 that is the problem see this has nothing to do with your syllable this has something to do with your common sense okay so look at the question it says that a digital meter has three LCD, three digit LCD. So this is one digit, two digit, three digit, and one digit may be from zero to nine. All right, so if it is one, 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 it means it is 15. So if 15 is not a single digit, so we cannot accommodate it. How could this error be shown on the instrument display? Um, now it is up to you. You may uh, C1, you may write there will be red light blinking, whatever. Whatever. A red light blinking, maybe the, the, uh, the display is actually showing nothing or just a dot or whatever. This is your common sense. What uh, could cause an error to occur. How could this error be shown on this instrument? How, what could cause this error to occur? If the digit, since you would have to again write it particularly with the sense of range. So you would be like the range 
of four bits is from zero to fifteen, whereas from ten to fifteen cannot be accommodated in single digit. This will cause an error. So whatever. They do not want you to have a sophisticated English sentence written as an answer. They would like you to write the proper sense that you know what is the technicality behind it. So what could cause an error? Since the range is higher for four bits, so we can accommodate a number which is greater than nine and we have got display just for one digit at a time. We cannot show 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15 in it. That is the error cause. Cheek ho gaya. Achha, ab dekhte hain. Sir, E part dikha de. E part dikha de. E part which E part? Uh, sir, page 13 ka E part. Okay. Page 13 ka E part. Yeah, but E part. If any. 8-bit number was shifted one place to the right, what would this be equivalent to? So, actually, if we shift any number to the right, it will become half of the previous number. All right. This was the E part. So what will happen if we shift to the right of page 13? All right. Ab dekhen. A new question. Okay. Question 16, May June 2014, P12. An encryption system gives each letter of the alphabet a value. So let's say A is 1, B is 2, C is 3, so Z would be 26. Now you can see that how many bits we are going to deal with. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Okay, so we are going to deal with 12 bits. Yes, good. A 4-bit register is used to store the encryption key. So this, these 12 bits and these 4 bits will be arranged this way. So 4 bits a line and then 12 bits. You can see over here. All right. So four bits, a line and 12 bits. Okay. Now what is actually being told in it? A four bit register is used to store the encryption key. Encryption key kya hai? This register shows how many places the bet bits are shifted to the left in 12 bit register when it is encrypted. So this means that the original number is shifted five times. So the original number is shifted five times. This is five. Okay. So now what is the original number? Original number is 16 plus two plus one, which is 19. What is 19? Letter S, A, B, C, D. If you go with the number uh, counting for alphabets, if A is 1, so S would be the 19th one. So the S will be the 19th one. Okay. Now, so it, when it is shifted right, sorry, left five times, so this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It is shifted five times. Hold on, let me share it again. Screen got freezed. Frozen screen movie. Hold on. Sorry. 
So get the idea. So this original number is shifted five times towards the left. So see, this number is same one one zero zero one. So this is one one zero zero one, but it is shifted five times towards the left. Okay. All it requires is your common sense. ठीक है. So they want you now to tell that what is this number. So first of all, you have to see that how many times it is shifted. So this is one, two, four. This is five times shifted. So it means that these five bits will be taken out, and this one one double zero one 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 double zero one will be moved on to the right side. Okay, and this would become nineteen. So now W is the twenty-third letter of the alphabet. Show how this letter would be stored in twelve-bit register. So twenty-three, one, two, four, eight, sixteen. So sixteen uh, plus four is twenty. Twenty-two, twenty-three. This is W, and rest would be what? Zero. So the four-bit register contains following value. This is six. So it means that this twenty-three is shifted six times towards the left. So when it is shifted six times towards the left, this means that we have got one, two, three, four, five, six zeros, and then we would have twenty-three. One, 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 zero, one, zero, one, and Zero. So this is shifted how many times to the left? Six times. Okay. Now find which letter of the alphabet has been encrypted here. So first we have to see that how many times it has been shifted. So one, two, four, and eight. So it is shifted three times. So it means that this one will be shifted three times over here. This zero will be shifted three times over here, then zero, then one, then one, three times, and then we have got what zero 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 zero. zero. So this is one two, one plus two plus plus eight plus sixteen. So this is sixteen plus eight twenty four plus two twenty six plus one. Twenty-seven. Sixteen plus eight, twenty-four. Plus two, twenty-six. Plus one, twenty-seven. So, which letter of the alphabet would be twenty-seven if A is one and Z is twenty-six? Oh, twenty-seven. Is it really twenty-seven? Hold on. I have copied it wrong. Sorry. So this is zero. This is not twenty-seven. I have copied it wrong. Hold on. This would be one, one zero zero one one. So one, one plus eight. This is one. Plus eight plus sixteen, so sixteen. Twenty six, sixteen, twenty five. So twenty uh, sixteen plus eight, twenty four plus one, twenty five. So this is why. This is your answer. Yes, sir. Can you explain part B again? Yes, I can explain it, bitte. So it says. in part b it says that this is an alphabet number which is shifted as many times so this is 1 and 2 so this is shifted three times it means that this is shifted three times so this 1 will come over here the 0 will come over here so 0 then 0 then 1 and then 1 and rest will be 
zero. So this is your complete 12 bits. So this is one, two, four, eight, 16. So this is 16 plus eight plus one. So that is actually 25. So at 25, we have got letter Y. Now, now this says that what is the largest encryption key that can be stored in four bits? So that is your actually two to power four, 16. So from zero to 15. So this is our largest key that we can store. And secondly, you can put all ones and eight plus four plus two of eight plus four plus eight plus four is 12 then two is 14 then one is 15 so this is your largest key that you can save all right and then you are required to convert that largest key into base 10 that i have already converted it in this encryption if this encryption key used what problem would occur see the whole register is actually of 12 bits if we shift everything 15 times all we are left with zeros in these 12 bits all right so number would become zero if we shift 15 times nothing will be left in the register so you would have to actually mention if the encryption key 15 is used the problem would be that everything will be dropped off the 12 bit register and we will be only having zero in it all right so may june uh, 15 P11, an alarm clock is controlled by a microprocessor. Okay, it uses 24 hours clock. Okay, so the time goes from 00 to actually 23. The R is represented by an 8 bit register A. So this is R. This is R register. And the number of minutes is represented by register B. So this is minutes. Identify time. So this is 16, 18, and this is 32 plus 16, 48, plus 4, 54, plus 18, 55. So this is 18, 55. I hope that you have a good idea of it now. So it says that alarm is set for 7.30. So show 7.30. 7 is 1, 2, 4, 7. And 30 is what? That is what? 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. All right. So 16 plus 8, 24 plus 4, 28 plus 2, 30. So this is 30. So this is 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. So this is 4, 5, 6, and 1, 7. So this is 7, 30. All right, so 16 plus 4, 16 plus, sorry, 16 plus 8, 24 plus 4, 28 plus 2, it is 30. Okay, there is a question. Sir, 53 minutes. Oh, sorry. 53 minutes. It is 53 minutes. 32 plus 16. 32 plus 16. 8 and 4, 48 plus 4, 2, 1, 52 plus 1. Oh, yes, this is 53. Wonderful. Take it, good. Now, describe how microprocessor can determine when to sound the sound, uh, uh, the clock alarm. And I told you that this is uh, another topic which is called monitoring and control when we, when we will be studying monitoring and control we will look into it so this is irrelevant question for now so we have to write what letters from the alphabets are represented in computer by following binary base 10 values a is 97 g is 103 i is 105 l is 108 n is uh, actually 110 so the word align is stored as 97, 108, 105, 103, 110. So we have to actually convert them. So this is actually 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, and 128. So if you have to come up with numbers, you would have to write the binary codes of these numbers over here. Done? Let's move on. Okay. 
Now, two sensors and a microprocessor monitor a car exhaust for high temperature and high carbon monoxide levels. The information from seven sensors is sent to an engine management system in the car. The status of each sensor is stored in an 8-bit register. A value of 1 indicates the fault condition. So this is a register which has got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8 bits in it. So this is 8-bit register and every single bit is connected to one of the sensor. So when sensors send a value and it becomes one, so it means that this one is a fault. And if it is zero, then it means there is no fault. So in this particular situation over here, the airbag is having a fault and brake, brake pads are too thin, it is having a fault. So get the idea? Now, for example, a register 01011000 shows that temperature is too high, fuel pressure is too low, voltage is too low. So you would have to tell that what is going on. So 101001. So it says what? one zero one zero zero one so one zero one zero zero one zero zero so it means that carbon co level is too high oil pressure is too low and brake pads are too thin so this is what it means All right, so parity we have not studied yet, so we are not going to get this question done anymore. Uh, a car has faulty airbag and CO level is too high. Faulty airbag, faulty airbag, faulty airbag means here and carbon is too high. So this would become this way. So this is a common sense question. It has nothing to do with your any previous understanding. So this is just common sense question. Okay, now this question, each seat on a flight is uniquely identified on an LCD above the seat. For example, seat 035C is shown as this. So this is 035C. The first three characters are digits that represent the row. The fourth character is the seat position in that row. So 035 is actually the row and this is seat position. Okay, the first three characters are digits that represent the row and the fourth character is the seat position. If this is a single character, this is a single character A to F. So this C might be A to F. All right, so this C might be A to F. That is stored as hexadecimal value. Remember, each hexadecimal digit is being represented using four bits of the storage. Each of the four display characters can be stored in 4-bit register. For example, 0 and C would be represented like this. So this is 0. What is C? This is 10. This is 11. This is 12. This is 13. This is 14. And this is 15. So C is 8 plus 2. 8 plus 4. Okay, 8 plus 4. So what it is? 12. So this is C. So this is 0 and C. So 0 and C are represented in this way. All right. 
show how 4-bit register would store remaining two characters, three and five. So this is one, two, four, and eight. So if you like to save three, this is three. If you like to save five, this is five. Okay, identify which seat is stored. So this is one, this is nine, this is four, and this is 14. This is one, two, four, and eight. So eight and four, 12 and two, 14. So how do we represent 14? This way. Okay, so this is 14. Get the idea? So this was actually hexadecimal question. Now there is bit shifting question one, uh, once again. So we are not going to do it anymore. We have already covered it. There is another question, a manufacturer of the aeroplane engines assign a denary identification number 1D, and I, I, sorry, ID, to each engine. One engine has the ID 0431, so 431. So you have to actually convert 431 to its binary form, 431, so 0, 4, 3, 1. So first you have to 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256, 512, 1024, 2048. So 431 will be accommodated up till here because the range up till here is 511. So this is your range. So this will be zero. Now 431, so 431 means uh, 431 minus 256. So we have used 256, okay? So 431 minus 256. This has become what 175. So 175 minus 128. This would become 47. So we cannot subtract 64 from 47, but we can subtract 32 from 47. So minus 32. So 47 minus 32. So what we are left with 15. So we cannot subtract 16 from 15 so but we can subtract 8 from 15 so what we are left with 7 so we can subtract 4 from 7 we are left with 3 then we can subtract 2 from 3 and then 1 from 1 so that is how you can convert it so this is how it happens okay so I told you in previous weeks last class that you are expected to convert numbers up to two bytes two bytes means 16 bits okay so do prepare yourself to prepare yourself for 16 bits calculation but I don't think that you would have any number beyond 500 in your exam because that will require you a lot of effort and uh, the calculator since you are not allowed to use calculator, Akkos ki zarurat. Peshna hai, Swasti mein khalse wo maximum Akko jo number denge wo 500 tak denge. Now, explain the difference between the binary number system and the denary number system. So binary number system is base 2 and denary number system is base 10. Alright, so in binary number system, places grow by the power by the power of two and in denary number system places grow by the power of 10 all right so this was just a simple explanation that they expect you to know about it explain the process of converting binary number into denary number so you would have to actually now tell that this is four bits binary number so every number would have its own uh, every digit in every position would have its own word so we will put one zero one zero this way and then wherever there is a one that word will be 
add it to the next word which is having one and that will become eight plus two and that will make it 10. So you would have to actually tell it step by step by step. Okay. All right, complete the sentences in Jane's uh, answer using the list given. Not all items in the list needed to be used. Jane answers an examination question about computers and data correctly. Six different words that need to be used are 2, 10, 16. We can see that this is 2, base 2, base 10, base 16. Analog means which is not digital. Binary means which is in zeros and ones form. Binary which is means uh, that it is in base 10 and hexadecimal base 16. So let's see. As humans, we process analog data. Analog is what? Digital, non-digital data. This is natural data that we have. But a computer cannot process this type of data. For a computer to be able to process data, it needs to be converted to digital data. Digital means in binary and zeros and ones form. All right, so this is digital data. As humans, we mostly use denary number system. This is base 10 number system. Computers use binary number system. This is base two bin number system. So you are expected to know about it, okay? Now, uh, byte, gigabyte, megabyte, nibble. I told you that byte is eight bits. Gigabyte is 1024 megabytes and megabyte is 1024 kilobytes and nibble is four bits. So what is after bit, smallest is bit, then we have got nibble. Nibble, then we have got byte, nibble is four bits. Byte is eight bits. Then kilobyte, then we have got megabyte, then we have got gigabyte, and then we have got terabyte. This is 